Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about the consumer mentality. Today when I'm recording this video, it is Cyber Monday in the United States and this is a time when people, there's all kinds of sales online. It's kind of the online version of Black Friday, even though online websites obviously do Black Friday sales as well. But it's supposed to be a time when there's a bunch of discounts and bonuses and free items and all this stuff. And people go out and consume, consume, consume. But I want you to really rethink this because this is something that's been taught to many people from early childhood. If you were grew up in the United States and many other countries, this is something you were taught. You were taught to consume because you sat in front of a television or in front of a computer or a tablet or whatever, and you watched videos and you saw commercials and you saw ads for things. And everywhere you went, there's billboards and ads and this. And so you've been taught to be a consumer. You've been taught to always be in the mindset of consumption. It's one of the reasons why obesity and being overweight is such a huge issue in places like the United States, because there's that consumer mentality doesn't end just with buying physical products. It also includes consuming food in excess. It is a indication of a lack of self-control, a lack of discipline because it, most of the things people are buying right now in these Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals are things that are useless for them, things they really don't need. But they'll convince themselves, they'll tell themselves how important this is because I'm getting it at such a good deal. Now, if you are buying something that is something you buy all the time, it's a replenishable item, and it is something you do buy all the time and it's on a, it's on a great sale right now, okay, that's completely different. But what are these TVs and video game systems and video games and all these things? These aren't things people need. They don't have to have them. They're not necessities. These are just the products of consumption. And people, well, I need to get my, my entertainment that I consume on a bigger TV. So I need a new TV. I need to be playing video games. So I need a new console. I need a new video game so I can play this and consume more. The whole life revolves around consumption. The entertainment is consumption, the sports, the media, all this stuff, the news, all this to consume. And it's detrimental to who you are as a person. God created you in his image and likeness so you can be like him. But you don't hear about him consuming. Matter of fact, he said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't tell you showing us a revelation about himself and how to act, how we should act. We shouldn't go around talking about lack and want. Shouldn't go around talking about the things we don't want. But he is known what? Worldwide, even people don't believe as he is known as the creator. Creating, not consumer, the creator. And humans have got it so twisted to now where they're just consuming. Now, obviously you have to consume a certain amount of things. You need your food, your water. Uh, there may be literature that you want to read that edifies you and builds you up in your faith. That's all fine. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this excessive consumerism that runs rampant every single year. And really it runs 24 seven, 365 days a year. People are consuming it, whether it's media and entertainment, video games, all these things. They're just constantly wrapped up in consuming things, not producing. It's a very rare person that is producing content, producing videos or books or art or poetry or building a house or constructing something, being a sculptor, being a carpenter, making furniture, all kinds of things you can start going down the line naming, creating a product that resells to other people that helps them and benefits their lives. That's a very rare person. And I would hope if you're watching a video like this, that that would be the kind of person you want to be, the kind of person you're striving to be, to l lay aside this consumer mentality, lay aside this really endless trap of consumerism because you can never get enough. You get that TV to watch your videos on that you're gonna binge watch on some social media platform or some streaming platform but it's only a 60 inch TV. Now you need a 75 inch one so you can really enjoy it. And it's just a never ending cycle. Well, now you need this 8K 
and you need this t this different options and all these things it's a never ending consumer cycle unless you jump out of that unless you remove yourself from that and start being a producer of things a producer of content a producer of things that benefit the world and make it a better place you're just trapped in that endless cycle and it takes away from you that intuitive natural instinct you have given to you by God to be a creator. There's probably something right now that you could point out to that would be like, that is something I want to do. That is something I want to create, but you haven't done it. And then people will say, well, I don't have the time. I want to write a book, but I don't have the time. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that, but they have time to watch videos. They have time to babble on the phone. They have time to be on social media. They have time to watch endless videos on social media and other platforms they have time they just aren't putting the time toward the non-consumption things toward the creative things toward being like their creator you know you go to most churches the way they tell you to be like their creators all moral things and that's great you want to live a high ethical standard you want to be living in a morality sense like Jesus lived of course but it's way more than just that it's being like your creator, not just morally. Jesus said, be therefore perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. And what did he teach in Mark chapter 11, verse 23? He taught that you can have whatsoever you say. Well, who else experiences that? God, of course. And Jesus taught the only two people who can have anything that all things are possible to. He said, God, with God, all things are possible. And to him that believeth. That's powerful, my friend. You need to be more like God. Get more in tune with that divine character that he's placed in you to be like him. Not just morally. Yes, you don't leave that undone. Of course, you live right. You live a holy life. But you also live a creative life that is producing value in the world. You're not just another number, nameless face, consuming products to make corporations and governments wealthier you produce you create you bless the world with your creations and i don't care what it is it doesn't matter what it is whatever is your creative outlet it's going to vary from individual to individual but there's something that you can do that's in your heart right now and you know it to be a creator to create like god did of course obviously on a finite level but the point is to be like your father, to be like your father, which is in heaven, to be an imitator of God, to be a follower of God as dear children, to just do and be as close as you can to being like your creator. And one of those ways is to be a creator, to be creative, to engage in your creative endeavors and stop being a mindless consumer. My friend, on this Cyber Monday, instead of thinking about all the sales, all the discounts you're going to get, Think about what you can create and go out there and do it today. Go out there and take action on that and start creating. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.